does the damage. Year. They're out here and they're doing it. And you know, Winona, Tyler last year, those were storm spotters Thank you. that were doing the trick and that they warned those areas for saved tornadoes. Lives. Yeah, they saved All lives right. both of those days. Let's go ahead and talk about what's happening in Tyler. Mostly clear skies right now. Folks, it was a great day today and it's going to be another great day tomorrow. High temperatures will be a little warm. We'll be at about 90. Humidity might be a little higher as well, but Compared to what we've seen over the last few months, this is great news. These dew points are in the upper 50s and lower 60s or the low temperatures. Sorry, we'll go back to that here real quick. The low temperatures this morning we are, were in the 50s and 60s for the most part. 62 was the low in Tyler, 55 in Mineola. Now let's talk about the temperatures. We are, were are in the upper 60s and lower 70s right now. Sulphur Springs is at 72, 69 in Mount Vernon. Quitman's at 68. More 60s and 70s the further south you go as well. The East Texas Regional Airport, we were talking about this at the top of this hour. It was 67. It's 69 in Henderson, 70 in Troop, 60s and 70s still across Cherokee County, and we're in the 60s and 70s across deep East Texas. Let's get you to those dew points because this makes all the difference yeah. in the world. We're in the 50s for those dew points right now. That's great news because typically we are in the middle to upper 60s and that makes a big difference. 63, that's your low temperature tonight. We will see mostly clear skies tomorrow. I do have our high at about 90 degrees, plenty of sunshine, almost a carbon copy of what we saw today, with the exception of us being a degree or two warmer for the highs and perhaps a degree or two warmer for the lows Wednesday morning. Dry conditions continue to take hold, high pressure in place to our northwest high pressure in place to our east as well and that looks to be the case here over the next several days however this weekend a few things are going to change and we'll start to see the gulf open back up and we're going to see more moisture by the weekend those winds will shift to the southeast which will bring that low level moisture in speaking of which it's still humid across deep south texas but as we head into your saturday and sunday those do, those dew points will continue to increase to upper 60s expected and then those dew points in the 70s Sunday morning and this is likely to persist at least through early Monday morning but it does look like it will begin to break down a little later on after that we are tracking the tropics some convection across parts of the Gulf of Mexico but that's staying well to the south and it's very unfavorable for anything to develop in the Gulf which is good news for most as we look out in the Atlantic, it does appear that we've got a disturbance that will move closer to the Lesser Antilles, and it's got a medium chance of it developing between about 40 and 60 percent chance that it does develop into something. So stay tuned for more details on that. Next seven days, 90s across the board, more humidity that will be increasing by Saturday and Sunday with those lows in the 70s. Quick check of deep East Texas got us in the 90s, those lows 60s and 70s, but again, it's going to feel different this weekend than what it felt like today. Neil? Sports Ryan.